Tell us a little bit about James at 15. James at 15, it's a, it's a story about a 15-year-old and what he goes through. Uh, I, it's just about what most 15 year olds go through in life. Uh, it's a good story. It's very real. And I enjoy I think that uh, grown-ups and kids will both be able to relate to it. Sample of the kinds of things that we'll deal with. <clears throat> yes. Uh, well, what he's done on the swim, winning some swim races, the uh, he's trying to get a girlfriend, and they're working that out so that they can have uh, it's a together and conflict of having to move to Boston and leave all his friends in Oregon and uh, just conflicts and and uh, joy that he goes through in his life. What age are you? Sixteen. Okay. Now this script was I'm. Sure by it, right? Yes, by Dan Wakefield. Okay, did you ever at any point say, hey, look, a 15-year-old today just doesn't react that way, or he doesn't see that, or he doesn't think that? Well, actually, Dan wrote a very real surprise when I, when I read the script first. The most realistic script, the most, the, it was more like a real story what 15-year-olds go through than anything I'd ever read. Really, point of view and everything, and he really got to reality very uh, well. <clears throat> it's hard to explain. Yeah, just about right. Uh, the only things I thought that there were some things not that a 15 year old would see that it was a little late for him to be saying that a person would say, but nothing uh, that. <laughs> let me let me start this. Thing. Um, no, to answer that question, ever find anything that 15-year-olds wouldn't say? It was very real, and there was a few things that I felt was a little young for the part, but nothing that was beyond his you know, age. So you feel then, if I interpret what you're seeing correctly, that you can go to your friends who are your age with your head held high and not have to make any apologies for anything that's in the script, right? That's right. Okay. We wish you the best of luck. And thank you for talking. I enjoyed it. Thank you.